Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Doc Squiffy channel, hope you're all doing well. Yes, we are on the fire stick again. Today we are talking developer options. We kind of half covered this before, but now we've got the issue. And a lot of people keep commenting on my videos how developer options aren't available. How do we get developer options back when they've gone? So I needed to do a video for you showing you how to do this and explaining it. So when you comment, I can just show you the link and it will show you how to do it. Okay, so this video is for people whose developer options are missing. Definitely worth watching if you've got your developer options because it could happen at any update. Okay, this is clearly something they are trialing um, and they're going to push it out across all devices. So watch, learn and see how to do it. Before we do that, as always, if you're into your streaming, if you're a Firestick user, if you're into your movie apps, your tech, your downloads, your VPNs, all content like that, do remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're a regular watcher, we'd really appreciate some shares on this because there's a lot of people out there wondering, where are my developer options? So it'd be really important and useful if you can share it for us. Obviously, we're a little bit behind some other people on this one, mainly because we've only just got our updates across all our devices. So what are we talking about? When you normally go to install apps from third parties or unknown sources, you need to go in your developer options to turn on things like install from unknown sources, ADB debugging. You need to do this to do anything or add anything to your device or make any external app work sometimes. There's certain apps which need ADB connections and you need developer options to do that. So what you would do, you would normally go to settings, My Fire TV, and in here, as you can see, Underneath about is where developer options are meant to be. Okay. But a lot of people are going across, they go into settings, my Fire TV, and you're getting it like this with no developer options. The developer options are missing. And this is a big problem because you want to go in those developer options to do all those things I just stated and to follow along a lot of my other videos. So how do we get this back? We click on about and in here, in here it shows you how um, all about your device really and it shows you make a model and like on a lot of devices um, say Android devices and your mobile phone if you go into the about section and you click on the model number normally it will come back okay it will come back but what we need to do is click on the actual name of your device so where it says Fire TV Lite you click on that eight times so you click it and as you'll see underneath, it's popping up telling you how many times you've got to click it again. And then it will pop up saying developer options are back. OK, so when you push back on your screen, here we go. Developer options are back for you. Obviously, as we stated, developer options are extremely important. In here is where you can turn on ADB debugging. This will allow anyone on your network to install applications from untrusted mm -hmm. sources. So if you are not using it, it is important to turn off, but majority of time now it will ask you if you want to allow it for the individual app. And also install unknown apps is the other thing in there which is really important. This is where apps can install apps. So for instance, um, Aurora Store is an app store. Downloader is a web browser. Aptoid TV um, is another app store. So they will install apps on your device. So they need this turned on. If you can't turn it on, you can't install apps but if an app say a clock had this turned on you would panic you would turn it off okay no app which doesn't need to install an app should have it turned on okay should have it turned on so as we stated now we've got it on if you haven't got it from your home screen you go all the way across to settings you go down to my fire tv you go into about and then you click on whichever one it is eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you see on this device, no need, you're already a developer. Had to demonstrate on the Fire Stick Lite, worked perfectly. And obviously my Fire TV Stick Max has already got it on. So I've demonstrated on multiple devices because some lost it, some did not. Very interesting. Hopefully it's useful for you, okay? Hopefully it's all in there for you. Hopefully you'll get it sorted. Any questions about that, comment them underneath. I try to get back to as many comments as I can, um, especially if anyone's having issues with this specific thing, I will get back to you. But my comments do get hammered by a lot of people. Um, don't put any links in the comments. Don't put any hashtags in the comments. New updates from YouTube mean if you do that, the comments will not go through. 
Also, if you are interested, on my Twitter, we're doing lots of giveaways at the moment. We've just given away a NVIDIA Shield, okay? NVIDIA Shield Pro 4K. We're also going to be giving away um, an Xbox Series X next, okay? An Xbox Series S, sorry, not an X. I haven't got one of them to spare. A Series S. It might go on Twitter. It might go on Facebook. All my socials are linked underneath. So if you want to be interested in getting involved in those sort of giveaways, which aren't linked with YouTube, aren't linked with Facebook or Twitter as such, it's all from me, as in Doc Squiffy, to you guys. But we will be putting that out on our socials. So if you are interested, make sure you follow me on all my socials. And as always, if you, that was helpful and you are into your streaming, we've got videos here about setting up Fire Sticks with apps and everything like that. All your settings to make it quicker, ones to stop it buffering, all on the channel. So hit that subscribe button. There's tons of videos here. We're closing in on 400,000 subscribers. 400,000, which is mental. Absolutely mental. So hit that subscribe button. Again, if you liked it, hit that share. Drop me the comments. And quickly, before we leave, if I can just give you a quick word from one of our partners. IP Vanish VPN is a sponsor of ours. They do partner with us. Um, it's $3.33 a month. This little affiliation with them means we get a little payment if you buy a VPN. Plus, you get a VPN. Plus, this allows us to give away things like Xboxes, um, NVIDIA Shield, things like that. I give back probably four to five hundred pounds worth of tech every month at the moment. Um, and that will only grow if we get busier and bigger. Okay, The more we can give back in these hard times, the better. But that's only if you want a VPN. You don't have to sign up. It's just if you need a VPN, we appreciate it if you use one of our links. You would get online safety. Uh, faster connections and a great VPN on your device to stop your internet service provider maybe blocking you, um, maybe geo-locking you, everything like that. All available for you on the channel. Link is underneath on that one. Again, that's completely optional. Just a quick word from a partner. A great VPN you can use on unlimited devices. This offer currently is limited time, so it is going to be running out anytime soon, but we will keep you with the best price on that link directly underneath. Brilliant. What more can I say? I hope that helped you out. Um, I've been Doc Squiffy. This is the Doc Squiffy channel. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next couple of days with a brand new video. And I'll see you soon.